Well, welcome back to K Nation. The feeling is not great in Manhattan right now after K-State women's loss, but there's still so much more positive things to take away oh, from this year. Oh, it was year. a memorable season for sure. We told you earlier, 26 wins, the most in the Jeff Beatty era. K Nation's Landon Reinhardt caught up, caught up with Coach after the game for a one-on-one -on -one interview. Coach, obviously heartbreaking for, for numerous reasons. Uh, what, what was the message to the girls in the locker room after? Well, just I really appreciate the hard work they put in this year. It's disappointing we didn't play very well today, but um, they did so many good things this year. You don't want a moment where you don't play well to define your season, but it's disappointing. And uh, we had a great crowd today. I appreciate that, and, uh, but we're disappointed, obviously, in the outcome. I, I know that there was a lot of talk yesterday about the potential crowd, but to see it and see how the girls reacted to that, how cool was that? Yeah, you know, I, I, we have uh, had over 20,000 people watch games in the last 36 hours here and watch our team play. So they have uh, captured the hearts of a lot of people. They've um, been a joy to coach, and uh, it's pretty special to walk out there and see that. I, I know it shouldn't be a story, but a lot of people talking online about Sherrod and the, the call to the, to the refs. What, what was your perspective of that? Well, my perspective is is that I'm a, any play above the shoulders can get looked at, you know. Um, but she obviously lobbied to get that looked at. So it happens. It happens. We, we had stuff like that happen. That play, we came out of that timeout fine. Our issues were we didn't take care of the ball well enough to have a consistent run back at them. And, um, you know, ultimately that, led to a lot of inconsistency in our offensive attack today. We only scored 15 points in the second half, so we got to look at what we can do better, and uh, that's it. I, I asked Yoki afterwards her plans going forward. She said, uh, you know, you'll have to wait and see. I don't know if she's told you anything, but if this is her last go here in Bramlage, what, what has she meant to you and this team? Well, I think we'll let that play out. I think she'll know here in three or four days, but um, just uh, uh, you look at uh, the impact that Yoki's had in her time here, and if she chooses to come back, I think she can even have a greater impact. If she chooses to go on, you'll look at her and say this is one of the best players to ever play at Kansas State, um, one of the best representatives of Kansas State, and uh, I would echo those things with uh, Gabby in her time uh, only two years here. So I'm um, real proud of both of them. Thank you, Coach. All right, thank you.